Okay, I need you to open it. And then I need you to read the first couple of pages. I think it's in there somewhere in the first page or two. And anyway, I open it up and then go to like the first page or two. Okay. Yeah, that's the page. All right, and I just saw what you do it, I think. Okay, so that's my newest book. And I need you to open it up. You can read that. If you can read it, you know my writing by now. Okay, I'll have to skip the page. Okay, I've got to skip this page. Okay, I need you to read that. Okay, I need you to read that. Okay. Can we say you need to Can you read it aloud, Ruby? Huh? Can you read it aloud? Yeah, you read. <coughs> this, this parabell guide is, is dedicated to my student and teammate, Ruby Corey Tara. In the world of barbell training, there are people and stories that inspire. And then there's Ruby Kay's story. You make me cry. <laughs> Affectionately known as Rubinator. <laughs> Let me take you on a journey through the remarkable tale of a 75-year-old grandmother who defined the expectations and embraced the world of barbell training and powerlifting at the age of 68 years young. In my many years of coaching women, I've encountered incredible individuals. Oh, Ruby stands out as testament, testament to, to the transformative power of barbell training and never giving up. Ruby's journey began at age 68, a point in life when, when many uh, might consider slowing down, yet there she was, hobbling out in my gym heavyweight training center, recovering from her broken ankle, determined and resilient. resilient. Ruby and her husband Matt joined my, my fat loss program, ripped in 42, little did we know. This was just the beginning of an extraordinary transformation. Keep reading. There's more. <laughs> Keep reading. Oh my God, all this. Yeah, you'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> Over the course of a six-week program, Ruby's dedication and hard work, work ethic was obvious. I could sense her seriousness about training. It wasn't long before she approached me with a bold declaration. Coach Rob, I want to powerlift. Without hesitation, I welcomed her to a powerlifting class and thus began a remarkable coaching journey. From that humble beginning in February, on your birthday, Ruby <laughs> Ruby swiftly progressed. By September of the same year, she stood on the powerlifting platform of her first competition. It was an uh, in invitation of of a journey that could lead her to the two 2022 IPF World Championship <clears throat> in her hometown of St. John's, uh, Newfoundland, Canada. Ruby's accomplishments are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Competing in both classic and equipped powerlifting, she emerged as a two-time world champion, setting numerous Canadian, provincial, and national records. Her flawless performance, going nine for nine on both days, showcased not, a, not only her physical strength, but also her unwavering commitment. Out of 27 attempts, she never got a single red light. She lived it perfectly. Beyond the records and championships, Ruby has become a beloved figure in our powerlifting community. Her wisdom extends beyond the weights as evidenced by her advice when asked about staying strong at her age. Get good coaching, train safely, be smart and realistic about your goals. Don't get discouraged by setbacks now and then. And above all, never give up. In Ruby's journey, there's a profound lesson about strength, not just in training, but in life. Her resilience, work ethic, and refuge to give up uh, serves as a beacon of inspiration for all of us. Ruby Kay, are you one of the hardest working individuals I've had the privilege to coach? <laughs> Live to compete alongside of you, and I couldn't be prouder. May your story inspire many more strong women on their own paths of barbell training and strength. Strong is beautiful, Ruby Kay. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Do you want to take a quick picture?